Right, here we are. I'm on the site of the Battle of Tewkesbury in 1471. A significant battle which helped to end the War of the Roses. This is video two of today's videos. Alberta is right down there, parked up for the day here. I'm just doing a bit of wrecking I can tell it's time to put the ticket on the van in a minute. Eight o'clock. So there's Alberta down there. And this is the site of the Battle of Tewkesbury. It's also the site of an ancient Anglo-Saxon, one of the oldest Anglo-Saxon castles was situated up here as well. A defensive position as you can see. And here's um, what remains. There's a church somewhere nearby, someone said. But anyway, look. This says, these fields are the vineyards, are part of the historic battleground over which was fought the decisive battle of the War of the Roses on the 4th of May 1471, when Edward, Prince of Wales, was slain. They were purchased by the Corporation of Tewkesbury in 1929. That's what that says. Then this stone, erected in 1932, marks the site of Holm Castle, a celebrated baronial residence of Saxon origin, which in the 12th century was the abode of the Earls of Gloucester. In other words, the Declares and other great lords. It was burnt down in 1140, afterwards rebuilt and was destroyed early in the 14th century. So it didn't last long anyway, they were always fighting that lot, you know. Charters granted to Tewkesbury, 12th century, the Earls of Gloucester, 1814, April the 26th, the Earl of Gloucester, um, 1888, August the 12th, King Edward the 3rd, um, I think that's saying, or is that 13? That might be 13 actually. Yeah, 13, that was 1338 and 1314, yeah, the Earls of Gloucester. Yeah, so I've got the dates wrong. Then the 16th century, you've got King James the 1st, King James the 2nd, King William the 3rd, Queen Elizabeth, I presume that's the first, King Edward the 3rd, yeah. And then this inscription commemorates the fact that Tewkesbury Abbey, dating from the 11th century, condemned by the commissioners of Henry VIII to be destroyed, was purchased by the Burgesses of Tewkesbury in 1543 for £483. The manor of Tewkesbury was purchased by the corporation from James I in 1609 for £2,453. And there we've got the Abbey, which I'll be going in as soon as I can. It's a bit wet on the field at the moment. Alright, over and out for now.